No, I don't waste no time Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel my name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketing online coach. I have my own social media agency where I basically help businesses get more sales and conversions through Facebook advertising. And I also have my own education business where I teach you guys on how to start your own agency. So how to get your first clients, how to scale the business, how to get results for your clients and so on and so forth. And in this video, as you can already see from the title, uh, we are going to be using some tactics on Facebook so that you can target Facebook groups with advertisements. So for those of you that have been in the social media space for a while now, you guys will know there are a lot of Facebook groups out there. It is sort of slowly taken over uh, Facebook in terms of like engagements, etc. There's no longer um, a lot of engagements in on like Facebook pages and on personal profiles, etc. Um, and that's not to say that there is no engagement at all. You know, I know a lot of profiles that do very well with their Facebook profile, but Facebook groups is kind of where it's at nowadays. And the only issue with Facebook groups is, we know, we know that our target audience is in there, but there's no way to actually target people. We can't actually target a Facebook group, um, you know, obviously due to privacy policies and ownership rights, etc. cetera. Um, but I have basically you know, discovered a way um, to sort of overcome that so that you can still target uh, Facebook groups with ads. Now, this is not my idea. I have not made this up myself. You know, this is something that um, I've learned over time. You know, people have mentioned it to me, etc. Um, but now I just thought I'd pass on the message to you guys. So, first we need first thing we need to do is obviously find a group uh, that contains our target audience. Um, so that's going to be step number one. What I'll do is I'll just quickly um, close my screen here and uh, go to Facebook, which you've got here. And then what we can do is we can find Facebook groups that are relevant to us. So for example, let's say you are in the um, you are in the lead generation niche and you are trying to find, I don't know, restaurants maybe. What we can do is just type in restaurant owners, restaurant owners, and then see what comes up. And then on the left hand side, uh, just go to groups. Now, depending on when you watch this video, the layout might have, might have changed. Uh, Facebook are constantly changing this layout, but for me, at the time recording this, 2020, on the left hand side, we've got uh, all of our settings and filters, and that is where we can select groups. Um, you can also filter down you know, by specific cities, public groups, etc. Um, but generally, if you click on groups, you'll get the Facebook groups. So as you can see here, this is a group of 12,000 members, restaurant owners and management group. What else have we got? A restaurant managers, chef and owners, a group of 3,000 people. Restaurant equipment might not be relevant for us at this moment in time. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing the top one, unless, you know, obviously if I do a bit more digging, there might be some, something else there, but restaurant owners and managers group. So if you are targeting restaurant owners, um, obviously, you know, at the time of recording this, we are dealing with a pandemic. So restaurant owners might not be the best group to target as a, you know, basically a niche for your agency. But regardless, you know, let's say hypothetically speaking, you are a, a agency that targets restaurant owners then uh, this is a group basically that contains 12,000 members. So we you know 12,000 potential clients for you. And then from there, all you need to do is uh, request access to the group, which you'll be getting into in just a second. So back to the presentation. So we found the group, as you can see here, this is a real estate entrepreneurs group. If you are targeting real estate owners, then that is a group to go to. Um, if you are targeting e-commerce, then what you can do is look into Shopify store owners group. Um, if you are targeting gyms, you can go to gym owners group and so on and so forth. So as I said, um, step number two is to request access to the group. Now, before we all go in, all guns blazing, pitching our service, etc. cetera, um, what I want you to do is get familiar with the rules and regulations. So more often than not, groups will have certain rules that you can't um, you can't promote your own service or you can't uh, privately message anyone. You know, there's, there's a lot of rules and regulations with Facebook groups. And uh, as I mentioned here, it's better to stay under the radar, so stay under the ground um, and win over everyone's trust in the long run than to just come in all guns blazing and get kicked out immediately. And then on the right-hand side, we can see a... Um, basically a, a, an image of the guerrilla tactics that the, the Vietnamese used um, with the Vietnam War. So as you can see, um, they basically stayed, or they built tunnels under the ground, as you can see here. And that is where they stayed for very large periods of time. 
Um, and that is how they basically, you know, attacked uh, the Americans that, that were um, basically, you know, fighting them. And they stayed underground, so the Americans couldn't actually see them. And, you know, that is how they stayed under the radar, stayed under the ground, literally, um, and were able to uh, basically plan out a lot of very good uh, attacks. So moving on, step number three is to also study the group. So once you have your group, um, what we'll do is we'll stick with restaurants for now. Um, so what you know, what we need to do now is study the group, look at what kind of questions they're asking, look at what they are most interested in, what are they struggling with? Again, most common thing at the moment now is obviously the pandemic, but regardless, you know, what are they struggling with? And then obviously, what can you help them with? So if they are asking, um, if anyone knows a good cook and you know you are in there mainly to promote your social media marketing service, then obviously there's no point in answering that question or trying to help out there. But just see what questions you can actually help with. Maybe they are mentioned that on Tuesdays it's extremely quiet. Maybe they notice that um, the desserts are no longer getting sold as much as possible and stuff like that. You know, those are little questions that you can help with marketing and with sales, etc. And then of course, the last question, what can you do to provide value in this group? So what I want you to do is not mention your social media service, not mention Facebook ads, nothing like that. Just for the first few days, study the group, get familiar with the group, see who comments most often, see who engages most often, see what questions that they are asking that are relevant to you, and then slowly start to make your move, which brings us to step four. What I want you to do is create a video answering the most frequently asked questions. And then I've got in brackets live because you can also go live on Facebook and then use that. But, but the aim of the game is now to basically create a video that answers those questions. You can do a screen share, you can just record the video um, you know, with just your face. That is completely up to you and will obviously be um, tailored towards like the situation you're in, the needs that you are targeting, etc. So for example, with the restaurant owners, um, if one of the questions was you know, how to get more people into the restaurant on Tuesdays, then what you can do is create a quick screen share video showing how they can um, use simple Facebook advertisements to get a bit of momentum going on Tuesdays, maybe give out a free coupon, um, a free discount, maybe a free desserts, um, you know, free drinks, or um, I don't know, all, or if you buy cocktails in four, it's 10 pounds for four cocktails, anything along those lines. You know, just to show them how it's possible to, you know, if their question is, um, how to basically get more people in on Tuesdays, then show them exactly how you would do it by leveraging Facebook ads, so your Facebook ad service. Now, for those of you that are doing Google ads or Bing ads, whatever, then just obviously tailor that towards um, you know, your own service, but the most common service that we offer and that people in this group are offering is, of course, Facebook advertisements. So in this video, you show them simply how to use Facebook ads to, and then whatever question they've got. and. The most important thing of this video is that you do not end with a call to action. So there is no call to action to this video. The point of this video is not to get people to book a call with you, no free consultation, nothing like that. This is pure bait, okay? This is not to get people to uh, come to you. It's just to get people to watch that video. And another important thing as well here, uh, which I haven't actually mentioned in this uh, presentation, is to answer the questions and the comments as soon as possible. Because what we wanna do is we wanna make this video pop within this group. We want, um, what we wanna do is we want to you know, and get as much engagement as possible so that the algorithm picks it up and considers that a good video. Now, before we actually do all this, what I want you to do with this video is to upload it to your Facebook page. So not your personal profile, not the group, but your business Facebook page page okay now for those of you that do not know how to create a business facebook page um what i want you to do is click on the little plus icon and then select page here okay so not group not profile select your business page if you haven't got one just quickly create one it takes two seconds and then from there once you've got a page uh, let me just quickly just go to mine joshua daniel fun facts it's actually banned so i can't actually um you know publish any ads with this profile but this is my facebook page and then what you can do is um let me just quickly see where is it again they've changed the layout oh there we go create post and then select photo video and that is where you basically select the video that you've just created okay so from there once you've uploaded it to your facebook page then what you do is you share it to the group okay so on your business profile your business facebook page 
you select, so hypothetically speaking, let's say this was the video, what we do is we click on share and then share to a group and then we select the group that we are in, at the group that we've provided value with and the group that is relevant for the video, that is the one we select, okay? And it's very, very important that you do it this way. Do not directly upload that video to the group, okay? Because then this whole tactic won't work. So share it to your Facebook or upload it to your Facebook profile first and then share it to the group, okay? And then, of course, as I mentioned, you know, in step seven, people are going to watch and engage with the video. And this is where it's very important for you to reply to the comments, reply to the questions. If people like the, 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 the video, then what you can also do is you can tag that person and just say, hey, thanks for liking this video. Hope you got something out of it, okay? And again, no call to action, no DMing, nothing like that. Just let all the comments come in. You know, make sure that the video pops um, and also make sure that Facebook's algorithm picks it up. And how does the algorithm pick it up? If it sees that it's keeping people on the platform for longer. Of course, Facebook is a business and the way they see it, the longer the people stay on the platform, the more ads that they can show to that person, the more money they make. So if Facebook sees that your video is keeping people on the platform for longer, then of course it's going to promote that video. How do people, or how does Facebook see that if people are commenting and uh, engaging with that video? So it's very important that you com comment on the comments, reply to the comments. If people like it, tag them in the comments and say thanks for liking and so on and so forth. Try and get as many comments and engagement as possible on this video, okay? Then what I want you to do is go to your business manager in step eight. If you have not got a business manager, just go to business.facebook.com, create an account, attach it to your profile. Um, there are a ton of videos out there on how to do that, but uh, make sure that you've got a business manager and then of course create an ad account within the business manager. And then within your business manager, go to audiences. So for those of you that do not know where that is, um, what I'll just do is open up a new tab here. Then from here, go to the left, top left, so business manager, scroll all the way down and then find audiences. Where is it, where is it, where is it? There we go, so audiences, select audience. Then from there, what I'll do is I'll leave the presentation open so I can quickly go back and forth. Um, when you, Once you click on audience, I want you to click on create custom audience, as you can see here, so create a custom audience and then select video, okay? Then once you've selected video, you can now basically choose a content type and also choose like specific attributes uh, or you know recommendations that you want for the video. So what we want to do is select people who have viewed at least three seconds of your video. And this obviously depends on the size of the video as well. If it's a 10 minute video, then by all means, select 25%, select 10 seconds, etc. If it's a relatively short video, only a few minutes long, then by all means, select at least three seconds of your video. Because what is going to happen now, we are going to target people that have selected or have watched that video. And then click on choose videos, of course. Um, again, select Joshua Daniel. And then, so this way you, you select your Facebook page. And then here, you select the video that you've uploaded to that group. And that is why it's so important to upload it to your personal business profile first, so your business page, sorry, um, before you share it to the group. Because if you share it to the group or upload it to the group directly, then you know this is not possible, okay? And that's why it's very important that that video is on your business page, okay? So you can select the video here and then click on confirm as well. I'll just quickly do that here. Um, obviously that's not a video from the group, but just to give you guys an example, in the past three, six, five days, that is fine, and then give it a name. So I usually start with the initials of our agency, BP, um, and then what we can do is uh, just insert group name, so insert group name, and then um, three second video views, okay? And then create the audience. And now what we can do is we can run ads to that specific audience, and that is the Facebook group, okay? So everyone within that Facebook group that has watched that video, you can now retarget because, um, because you've put it on your personal or your business profile, your business page, um, Facebook has basically picked that up as your data. Okay, so as I said, create a custom audience, make sure that you select the Facebook source, uh, which is video, select an engagement requirement. So as I said, you know, three seconds or 10 seconds, depending on how long the video is. Um, obviously with three second video views, you're gonna get much more traffic and much more people within that audience. 10 seconds is a bit more qualified. So it's up to you to basically decide, you know, which one is uh, going to be best. If it's a small group and only a few people watch the video, then three seconds might be better because if the, if the audience is too small, you can't retarget any people. So make sure that um, 
you choose wisely here and not just go for oh people who watch 95 percent of the video because like i said that audience might be too small for you okay select your video as i mentioned and then run ads to that specific audience now that i'm not going to get into the specifics of uh, how to run the ads etc you know i've got a few other videos on that here or um, i've also got my own uh, online program where i show you exactly how to do this but this is basically how you do it and then from there you just run the ads and within the ads obviously that is where the call to action comes in okay so you provided value on the front end you didn't mention anything about your service uh in the facebook group you, you ba basically stayed compliant with, with the policies of the group and then um, you've engaged with people in the comments as well again no call to action and then once they see your ads they're going to recognize you from hey that's the guy from the facebook group that's that guy from the video that's the guy that replied to my comments let's see what he has to say and because it's all specific to your niche or specific to your offer um, like i said if you're a agency that targets restaurant owners and you're in that restaurant group it will all add up it'll all be in sync and yes people will be interested in your service and you've already established yourself as an authority figure as well because you provided value in that group so step 15 is obviously to rinse and repeat so just to quickly go over the entire flow one more time what I want you to do is find the group that you want to target, request access to the group, study the group, so make sure that you know what their pain points are, what questions they are asking, uh, what are they dealing with on a daily or weekly basis, and then from there you create a video that answers those frequently asked questions, of course, making sure that they are uh, relevant to you know, what, what it is that you are offering. Then from there, upload that video to your Facebook page, share the video with the Facebook group, create a custom audience, run the ads to that very specific audience, and then rinse and repeat. And what I mean by rinse and repeat is you can do this multiple times over. So if you have multiple groups, then you can create multiple videos and just bundle them up all in one audience. So if there are five restaurant groups, for example, then do the exact same for all five restaurant groups, five different videos, or if, if you can get away with it, share the same video over five groups, and then just make that audience bigger and bigger. Okay, so that is all I've got for today. Hope you got something out of this uh, video. I'll just quickly make, make this screen a bit smaller because I know that my face was in the way there for that creative custom audience. But I uh, hope you got something out of this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see more like sort of um, creative tactics in terms of you know how to run ads on Facebook. But for now, um, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Thank you for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.